Welcome back to the SEC Soccer Tournament in Pensacola, Florida. For the first time, we are down at the beach in Florida and getting you set for the number one in Alabama against number eight, Mississippi State. It is a tall task coming up for the shorthanded Bulldogs and the first time that we get to see the SEC champion. We take a look at what's happened already today. South Carolina over Ole Miss 3-0 and Georgia with the upset over Tennessee. 2-0, maybe a bit surprising there. Depends who you're a fan. Spiders Bulldogs, another huge performance from her. Needed big time for James Armstrong. Alabama is in the white kits. It is maroon and white for Mississippi State. Ashland Sarepka gets us underway. Second half of the quarterfinals in Pensacola. The athleticism, and you can take her off the bench at a certain time and then maybe some tired legs. That's huge. Here's Wadsworth off of the feed from Nick Werder, and that one sails wide. So Mississippi State's first opportunity on goal, trying to test McKinley Crone. That was back in the first round on Sunday night. Here's Riley Tanner. Cutting byline. Flips it back. That's Sarepka. Has to track back. Long range effort right into Titus's bread basket. No problem. Here's Felicia Knox. 15 assists this season, which leads the country. Sarepka, plenty of space. Slots it back to Parker. One more touch. Back it goes to Sarepka. Top of the 18 yard box. Like you can see this, Riley Parker, great run, takes the center back with her. Both played, same to finish into the bottom corner. Like you can't ask for any more. Like that, Sarepka, great, cool, calm in front of goal, buries it into the corner. Tight is in no chance. Okay, what a day it has been here at the Aston Brosnahan Soccer Complex. Here's Wadsworth, she could equalize all by herself. Cut out by Skorka. He's not in the line. It's it's difficult. It's difficult to say, especially when they're going up against the talent of what we see. Flip back. Riley Tanner on her left. Oh, and there you go, Titus. There you go, Titus. That's what she needs. Yeah, absolutely. The ball gets played out. Comes to Riley Tanner from, from, from Riley Mattingly. And you can see the footwork, fantastic, great. She covers her cup post, covers her angle, and she, she makes the save look easy. Puts it by the post. Great, great strong hand. Numbers towards the back post. That's where most of the Alabama players are gathering. And that's where the ball goes. It goes through Titus's hands. Is it saved off the line or is it in? It's a goal. It go. Alabama leads it 2-0. Just trickled in after Titus touched it. And we're going to take a look at this. And that angle, we believe, we believe yeah. clearly shows. And remember, it has to be indisputable video evidence in order to overturn the call. And the video does confirm Alabama to Mississippi State now. Try and get something, fight for the scraps, and try and bring yourself back into this game at five minutes to go. Just oh, wide, yeah. wow. Crone got to it. This, and, and she was forced into action yeah, there. Yeah, that's, there's a concentration piece, right? She's done nothing. For 40 odd minutes. Played the shoulda, woulda, coulda game with you. Could also be 3 nothing. 4 nothing, 5 nothing. <laughs> like, no, no, to be fair. And because, I'm gonna get, of the, because of the PK, though. Because of the PK, but also with Mac. That Knight. one just over the head of Crone. That was a challenging effort by Alexis Gutierrez. He hasn't given up. This Mississippi State team has not given up. They're giving it everything still. Here's Knox, real estate in front of her, tries it herself, and it pings off the post. Try to see out the last seven minutes and 40 seconds, get her some experience. And, you know, that's a really, really nice gesture. Oh, oh, oh. had to get right up to it. And I think a lot of Mississippi State players were thinking, well, we might have brought one back there. Ball and fell forward onto the ball. She, her body was behind it, and that's what saved her. Pimentel coming up huge, though, on that Gianna Paul attack. Anderson is going to be over there. She's going to be she's going to be screaming for her. Like, there's a great ball over the top, but it only took one ball for, for Gianna Paul to get in behind. And 
you can see, look, look how high she came out. She anticipated it. As Alabama moves on to their fifth SEC tournament semifinal, and they will take on the winner of the last game of the night coming your way in just about a half hour between Arkansas and Vanderbilt.